Hi, this is Megan from Believe in the Run, and today we are here with Danny Orr from New Balance. Hi, guys. Uh, Danny, we're going to talk about some road shoes today. What are we going to start with? SC Trainer. Am I right in saying that was the most innovative shoe in 2022? <laughs> is that right? That's pretty we're accurate. We're updating the yeah. most innovative shoe in yeah. 2022? Yeah. That's a big ask. That is. So, what are, what are we changing? Yeah, I mean, we're super excited about this update. You know, obviously, this is an update to a shoe that you guys know super well, being a big part of the storytelling with us, which was awesome in the kind of New York Marathon yep. piece that you guys did. You know, I think the biggest change here and the thing that we've heard most consistently around that shoe is that everybody's loved it. They just wish it was a little bit lighter. And, it, and I'm pleased to tell you that this shoe's over an ounce lighter oh, wow. than the predecessor. That's really driven by two factors. One, we've updated the foam. Um, we've been able to get about a third of the density out of the foam, so it's much lighter while still maintaining a similar hardness property um, and then just the same energy return property. And then the last piece is that we've just dropped the center line down just a little bit. So it's now below the legal limits, which has also helped us just take a little bit of the weight out of the shoe. So it's really those two things, updating the midsole compound, reducing the weight while maintaining the same overall performance and energy return from the training. So do you think people are going to race in this now that you brought it down in, in stack? I think there's definitely a case for people to want to race in this shoe. I still think that we're going to see majority of people wanting to do their training and their tempo training in a product like this. And it's definitely been set up in that way. You know, if you think about the overall rubber coverage, there's definitely more rubber from a durability as well as a stability perspective in the shoe. I also think that there's an additional element of comfort and structure in the upper that's just a little bit more tailored towards training. Yeah. Um, but I definitely think based on the new setup and based on the new weight category, we're gonna see people who probably wanna race in the shoe as well. The upper looks a little different. Is there, or is it the yeah, same? It's just, just the color waste throwing me off? A little different. So the upper's obviously changed from the V1. Yeah. So it's a totally new textile and we've got a, a range of different colors. I would say that the upper's in a fairly similar space in terms of overall weight, you know, and then just trying to maintain that balance between an element of stability in a training environment while maximizing breathability for this type of shoe where people are doing more tempo training. I think a key piece for me in terms of like the overall elements of it is I think you guys were struggling a little bit to differentiate between the more and the trainer V1. And I think some of that was based on the similar weight characteristics sure, of those yeah. two shoes. I'm hopeful that by dropping it down by more than an ounce, this is really gonna stand on its own and you guys will much easier be able to differentiate who those two things are for. So when will we be able to get this? Middle of the year, 2023. Okay, and price point the same? 180 bucks. Okay. Yeah, it's a lot of shoe for 180 bucks. So right. we're, we're excited about the fact that we've been able to maintain the price point. And I, I just think the opportunity here, you know, we've learned so much about training and we are learning so much about this shoe that is ultimately influencing the rest of the range. And I think what's nice about this is the ability for runners of all kind of abilities yep. to get into what is truly the future of training product when you think about the SC Trainer V2. Cool. I'm excited. Cool. Looks good. Yeah, thank you. We're going to jump into the next shoe here is the 880 V13. Yeah, this is the biggest shoe in running for New Balance. Oh, wow. well, this is our This is our largest volume. This is our go-to trainer for everybody out there, whether you're walking and needing a performance solution or you're out there running it's it's such a funny one you know i think this is our broadest consumer set if you look at all of the new balance athletes whether it be emma coboyne or any of those people this is their go-to shoe they're all running in the 880 and then i think if you go to a, an everyday running store today you're probably getting as many people that are walking in the shoe as running in the shoe and we really need to satisfy so many different people with what our with what our go-to shoe is and we think that we've done that with the V13. So talk to us a little bit about any updates here to the foam or the upper, what's changed? Yeah, so the biggest change in this shoe is the upper. We've maintained the same bottom unit okay. as the V12. So really trying to maximize, you know, that overall feeling for that consumer so that we're updating it in a meaningful way for them. I think the biggest piece here is really modernizing the upper and improving upon the fit. So we've used a totally new textile. Um, Thomas will be happy with us. The final shoe is going to have a gusset in it. Oh. Um, but I think the biggest piece is with this type of product, we're always trying to make sure that it's modern and it's contemporary and it lines up with who that broad consumer set is. And I think we've done a really nice job of maintaining the bottom unit, but then evolutionizing the upper 
to keep it modern and fresh and, and super interesting for our most important running shoe, which is the 880 V13. Yeah, it looks like this is a very durable shoe. Yeah. You're going to get lots of miles yeah. out of it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. exactly. I mean, we're, we're well in the, the 500 mile range with that kind of go-to go -to trainer, which is obviously critical. Uh, do you know stacks off your head? I know that it's on a it's on a 10 millimeter offset okay. last. I know that. Okay. What the actual center line height is, you're gonna have to ask somebody smarter than me. Okay. And then release date and price, what do we got here? Uh, March 2023, okay. and it's 140 bucks. All right. That's pretty good for your uh, do it all shoe. These the guys. last shoe we're gonna talk through here is the Vongo. Yeah, Vongo. Um, Vongo V5. You know I. Whenever I talk about this shoe, I say it's probably the second most tested shoe at New Balance after the original 5280. Okay. You know, what's key about this is we're introducing a proprietary new stability technology for our brand that we're very, very confident in and is ultimately going to find its way into key shoes like 860s and some of those things by the time that we get to 2024. We did a lot of work both inside of the lab and outside of the lab with RunScribe we were able to leverage our partnership with New York City. We did a big study back in 2019 in New York City to understand differences in pronation from the beginning of the marathon towards the end of the marathon where we know people's form breaks yep. down, they tend to be running a little bit slower, and you see significant changes. You know you yep. run more marathons than I do. You know what your photos look like at the beginning Not versus good. the end. No, they look good. <laughs> Not they look, the end. They look much better than Thomas, uh, let's just say that. Well, we're not setting the bar real high there. That's true. <laughs> I think the key piece to me is that a lot of brands right now are focused on supporting the sides of the foot with different rail type technology, whereas we've really gone for looking at the bottom of the foot with a, an EVA plane that's kind of engineered underneath it where we've called out certain elements on the lateral side, the medial side is filled in. The main goal is to really eliminate an element of sharing in the midsole. So when you land and when you become fully loaded, often what's happening is your midsole is sharing Okay. And what this stability plane technology does is limit the sharing. And what we've been able to do without having a post in it is we've been able to maintain a similar level of stability from like a total pronation volume perspective as well as a pronation speed perspective in a much more runner-friendly way. And that's allowed us to maximize the cushioning at the same time with a really, really unique and proprietary stability solution that we're terribly excited so about. So what exactly is this plane? like? It's an unblown EVA plane. Okay. So when you get a this soft kind of spongy midsole yeah. that you have, before it's applied heat and it's had a blowing agent in it, is a very, very firm material that ultimately under pressure and heat becomes soft. Okay. What this hasn't had is it hasn't had the pressure and heat applied. So it is what EVA is in its truest form. Okay. And what it's doing is it's providing Stability. that element of stiffness from a from a sharing standpoint that is um, that is in the Vonga V6. Okay, so this is your daily trainer for the stability, someone who Correct. needs a little bit more stability. Yeah. It's the partner for the 1080. Okay. So when you think about premium stability and premium cushioning, those two shoes sit at the top of our brand, and this is really our yin and yang from okay. a stability standpoint and a cushioning standpoint. Cool. But the two elements that people need to remember is that we've maintained the, well, we've maximized the cushioning mm -hmm. by utilizing this technology, and then we've aligned the level of stability control um, without having a post. And the that's result. the first time you've done this, is in first this version. First time we've done that, yeah. Very we've cool. often treated the Vongo as like a stability innovation vehicle for us. So it really has gone back to what that is in this V5. And then we believe in it so much, you're gonna see it in shoes like 860 and okay. you know, those products going forward. So right. we're excited about that. So what is the release date? The release date of this one is November 2023. Okay, so you gotta wait a little while. 60 bucks, yeah. 160 bucks. Yeah, I think like that's one of the things in terms of you know COVID and some of the shipping things that have gone on and the ability to get shoes into market. It really has allowed us to almost in some ways take a step back and just be a little bit more consumer centric in terms of some of our intro dates. In this instance as well, it also gave us like an additional nine months with our innovation team to really dial in the technology and get the bongo to where we wanted it to be. All right. Very cool. Cool. All yeah, we're excited up. about this one. All right.